everybody welcome back to the channel and welcome to part two on how to airbrush vinyl wrap now i left you off in part one and i was talking you through the sort of processes to go through coming up to prep and things like that and basically if you're going to wrap something that you've painted stick it to a flat surface don't, don't try and go around some real tight curves because you've got a layer of paint sandwiched between two pieces of wrap vinyl and usually when you go around a shot curve on wrap vinyl you'll heat it up and you'll stretch it and if you're trying to stretch paint it won't go it'll crack it'll look a mess so flat surfaces only now i've come in the studio this morning crank the heat up because it's freezing today so that noise in the background is the heat up just ticking over I've got it up to about 15 degrees in here, so it's warm enough to work in. Now I've cut the vinyl out, I'll give you a little pan round. That's the first side. So this is the side with the sliding door. Chopped it out and I've gave it about a 10 mil overlap to what the actual template was. So we've got extra on the gray. Next step on this to do is project this image up because that's the image we're doing today so we're going to project her head up so it sits roughly to this piece just here once we've got that projected up and you can see her face on the vinyl i'll go in with the gray scotch bright and i'll scotch bright round her face and just basically the whole of the face i'll scotch bright down and then you are aiming to get it to look like this now you can see the scratches and the dullness on this. Let's hold that to the light. That's dulled right off. That's what you get when you scotch bright vinyl down. It takes the gloss out. So basically, you're doing the same thing as if you were to scotch bright over a clear coated tank. You get that dull. It just dulls it off. And that's, that's what you do when you key the surface up. So we'll key the surface up with the vinyl. Then I'll go in with the panel wipe clean everything and then we're going to mask off just a little bit further back further out mask the whole of the rest of the gray off so we don't get any overspray on this and just contain it to an area where her face is i'm just going to go to the outsides of the face because on the actual picture you've got a very fade that goes around it i want to try and keep this sort of halo in so i can then darken that off with airbrush colors with the grays and just fade it into the vinyl around here but keep the center quite quite white i'm not aiming for full opaque on the white when i go in with the white i don't need it solid white to go off i just want enough white down to give me that background contrast for the highlights for all the brighter parts of her face around there so that's what we're going to do i'll stick you in a time lapse and you'll see the prep part of it the masking and all that sort of stuff we'll do the panel wipe scotch bright and all on time lapse but i'll just talk to you through on how you do that so nice and simple you'll just see me whiz around about 50 mile an hour in the studio on time lapse and we'll get that bit done and then i can talk you through the next process setting up the gun paint things like that see you in a bit In them time lapses, we're trying to get out of the bright light. In them time lapses, you see me project it up, so you see the image go on, and then we scotch brighted where the actual face is and just to the outer, wiped it down with panel wipes, give it a clean off, and then masked it up. Just done a little bit of light folded over masking here, just to give it like a little pocket. When I spray this, I will be spraying in this sort of angle here coming across this way down this way and then sort of in this way i don't want to be spraying it here so it just fills this gap up i want to come across and just keep it nice and light working down but you can see it's dulled this off 
So the next step on this is to leave the projector set up where it is, paint can, stacked it up to get it to work. Leave the projector on, just turn it off, put a bag over it because of the overspray, turn the extractor on, and then we can drop some white base coat on here. Let that go off. Then we will turn the projector back on, project the image back up, so we've got that again, and then just basically pencil round with a soft pencil because you're going down onto sort of vinyl. You don't want to be scoring through with a real sharp pencil, so just sort of round the tip of your pencil off on a piece of paper and just sort of spin it in your fingers and round the tip off so it's smoother, softer. Soft HP pencil as well. And then just put some details in just to follow. And that's it, then we can set the TV up, get the airbrush set up. We're gonna be using the Harder and Steambeck 2024 Evolution for this project. I've been itching to get on it and do a full piece with it, so it'll be nice to do this bit of artwork with the Evolution. Paints, I'm going to be using FW Inks, I'm going to be using Createx Illustration and Golden on this. So it'll be nice to just drop that straight down, and because we're dropping it down on a solvent base, once that solvent's gone off, I know we've got a nice service for them paints to adhere to and go down to. So I shall see you in the next step little time lapse again we will drop the white down on vinyl see you in a bit We've got the white down, I'm trying to keep out of the way of these bright lights because this camera don't like it. We've got the white down. I did a bit on a test panel. That little piece of vinyl that I cut that I showed you at the beginning that I scuffed up and prepped it ready, I did a piece on that. Now you can see the little score marks. I've literally gone in with my nail and that's how well that white has adhered to this vinyl it goes down absolutely spot on guys it really does grab hold of it once you scuff your vinyl up it's basically like the same as doing prep work on a panel you'd have the same effect so we've dropped the white on and there is enough white on there to work from so the next stage on this will be just i'm just going to tack rag this off to get any misty overspray off we'll project the artwork back up onto this pencil it all in and then start doing the artwork, nice and simple. I'll pull the TV around, get the airbrush set up, mix some colors, and I can just put some tunes on in here, stick you on a time-lapse, and I can just chill out then, get the piece of artwork done, and I can see you at the end. Now, the brush that I used for putting the white down is the Creos PS290. Highly, highly recommended, guys. If you want a trigger, sort of mini fan of about two, two inches, just over, Brilliant brush, excellent for solvent, it's just drop solvent down, water base and all that, not a problem. Works really well, easy to clean. I've absolutely abused that brush over the last few years and it's just been absolutely fine. So a really good solid brush by Creos to get that down. I was running it around 30 PSI, so you see a little bit of waft of overspray coming round before the extractor pulls it. You can just see that in the time lapse. But we're good to go, nice and straightforward. So if you are thinking of spraying on vinyl, solvent works a treat. Just go in nice and light, do light passes, build it up like I did to that, and you're good to go. I've got a pencil outline in, and as you can see, this is just I'm gonna make all the hair up myself and just do the shapes, and just do it like how I will do it. I'm not gonna copy the reference, because when you blow this image up, and you're looking at it, it's very, very grainy. It really is grainy. It's like a pencil drawing. This is the one I had like before when I did the low rider art on the canvas. If you've seen that video, you're trying to make something look very pencil-y and then turn it a little bit more realism. So I'm gonna do a little bit more sort of softer shading on a face to make it look a little bit more softer instead of all the dotty grainy pores in the skin. I just think it looks a bit too rough on a woman when you start seeing pimples and she looks older than she really needs to be. So we're all good to go on that. That's penciled out. I'm going to get set up and now you're going to see a long time lapse 
and you'll just see me working this in I'll start working light and just working up and working up and get this portrait done so we're going to be using the Harder and Steenbeck Evolution so if you've not seen the Evo it is this one here we're going to be using that one the Evolution today on a 0.28 so it's going to be really nice to get to grips with this be running this around I'm going to run this around about 15 psi bank it off there just nice and slow take me time I'm just going to take about three four hours on this plod along and I'll see you at the end guys so enjoy the rest of the video enjoy the time lapse I'll get the camera as close as I can and you'll just see this picture come to life see you at the end image down demast it you've seen in that time lapse I think I caught enough in the time lapse for you we sort of whizzed it out started nice and light worked a bit and then I sort of paused you wouldn't have seen this pause in the time lapse but I paused stopped turned all the lights in the studio I just couldn't get into it and then I went back in the house had something to eat chilled out and then came back with fresh eyes tonight I left it all day just with a bit done come back late tonight I thought right turn the crank the music up and just smashed it out really quick and just got it down and done so i've demasked it finished it i'll give you a little pan around show you how it looks so that's the finished piece of artwork looking rather nice on the vinyl so it's gone down really well the next thing that i'm going to do on this just to finish it because the original piece here this is basically like sort of made up artwork it's an actual woman's face and then all these sort of bits are put on but then they sort of do like a feathered edge around it like the bits of grey then it goes to white because well, this is going to grey I've got a little bit of white spill here now I'm going to get some of the Nardo grey and I'm just going to puff a little bit of Nardo grey in with the airbrush and just feather this edge in here and just tighten it up slightly and then that will do this one's ready for laminating now it will look a lot better as well once you laminate it because it's like when you clear coat when you put the gloss laminate on top of this it'll make this bit gloss up 
and just give it a double gloss on sort of on top of this so it's like going to this again but across the whole image just glosses it up like you get when you clear coat your artwork so that's the piece done we've got it down i will see you in tomorrow's video we can do the opposite side so it's another piece of artwork like this woman's face for the opposite side get that one done and then we can go down to the sign shop and i'll show you how you get these laminated put them through the rollers get it all pressed out and done and they'll be good to go for fitting so i'll see you tomorrow guys don't forget if you are new to the channel and you're liking the content click the subscribe press the notification i always ask you to do it because there's a lot of subscribers that there's a lot of non-subscribers that watch the channel that haven't subscribed and it'd be nice if we can get the numbers up so thanks for watching and I'll see you in tomorrow's video guys. Cheers.